this video, we're going to be going through the nickel 2-4 double mug defense. I think this defense is probably at least one of, if not the best defense in Madden 25, especially post-patch. And we're going to be breaking down how I like to set this up, how I like to use this defense. Now, if you want to get my full 2-4 double mug defensive ebook, it is in our school community. School.com slash Cody Ballard will teach you how to run this defense in its entirety. I just want to kind of sample it, show you the blitz a little bit, kind of show you some of the things that I like to do out of this defense so then you can get an idea. And again, if you want to join the school site, that's where you'll get everything. The cool part about that site is you also get access to everything over there, not just this defense, but all of our defensive and offensive ebooks for Madden and for College Football 25. So if you want to sign up for that, that link is going to be in the description below. Now, there's really two plays that we're going to be calling when we call this defense. We are either going to be calling the Nickel Dog 3 Buzz or we are going to be calling the mid blitz zero. Pretty much everything else is kind of useless because we want those linebackers blitzing in the middle of the field. We want them blitzing before we put them on the field. Okay. So to illustrate, I'm going to come out in the Dickel Dog 3 buzz, and you can see it from zone and from man. And then basically for personnel, I just really want to have super fast defensive tackles. In Mutt, this is really easy. And then I also want to have like safeties at these positions so that they can uh, get through fast, okay? So all we're going to do to set the splits up is we are going to show – if you're in zone, you're going to show blitz. And as you see in zone, when you show blitz, it's going to bring these guys down. Now, you can back this guy up and play kind of Tampa 2 if you want, whatever you want to do. But essentially, this is the defense. And then you're going to slant your D-line inside – and you're going to use her this linebacker right here. Now, the cool part about this formation, it's really easy to move these guys. So what I like to do is move this guy. I'll typically man him up on the tight end. And then I'll drop this guy on the left side in the hard flat. So see, it's kind of my base defense that I like to use against the majority of bunch players that I see. You can pass commit if you want to. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to run down into the right and then back into coverage. And then you can switch dick if you want, whatever you want to do. But I like to have this guy manned up on somebody. So what you're going to see here is snap the ball, and we get super fast A-gap pressure right up the middle at the quarterback. Now, you can also do the same exact thing from a man-to-man -man based defense. Now, the one big difference that I would tell you in man versus zone, in zone we're showing blitz, in man we're not showing blitz. So we're going to audible uh, to mid blitz, or you could come out in this, and you're not going to show blitz. What I like to do instead is I like to press. Um, I'm going to press and I'm going to slant my D-line inside so you see this is what it looks like. And that's pretty much it. And then from there, I'm going to create my coverage. So it might be something like man up the running back with that defensive end. Have a middle third on the field. Have a guy and a half over here. We could shade underneath and we can man this guy up. Stuff like this. And then we can kind of switch stick onto the deep zones if we want to use with the safety. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to run down to the right again, down into the right. And then we can switch stick if we want. And as you can see, we get the same exact pressure and in my opinion, this is the best form of double mug post patch. This is why we dropped an ebook on it, and this is why um, this is why I'm in this right now. So you see here, look how clean this is, super clean a gap pressure, good man coverage. This is hard to beat. This is a hard defense to beat right now consistently. And again, I'm just kind of lurking at the tight end, and then you can switch stick off of it if you want to. Uh, so so this is one of my favorite ways to play defense right now post patch. And the cool part about it is you can set this up really quickly once you kind of get the hang of what you're doing. And it's really just a couple of clicks and you can, you can send your pressure. Now, I did want to go over one other tip with this defense. One of the best ways to block this defense is to slide to the right and double team this guy on the left side. So what we're going to do to counter that is we are going to slant our line inside. And this time we're going to keep that guy on the left side blitzing. If I was to do something like this in a real game, I would probably scissor that left side. And the reason why is just because it's going to take away all of the quick throws. And then another little thing that you can do that I think is actually really good is we can actually scissor on the right side. So we can do this right here. This is going to just prevent tight end flat passes and things of that nature. You don't have to do that, but it's something advanced that you can do. And what you'll see is this blitz will still scream and you'll get that quick pressure off of that left side. There's also ways to send six out of this. There's also ways to adjust out of this um, to make this really good coverage. If you want to learn all that, make sure that you're in our school community. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, both for College Football 25 and for Madden 25. If you want to sign up for that community, the link is going to be down in the description below. Ten bucks gets you access to everything over there. So thank you for watching this video. And if you want to go check out the school site, the link is going to be down in the description below.